gonna show you how to draw a really simple perspective, one point perspective. Um, you're just gonna need some paper, a ruler, and I would just do a marker. Um, the way that I'm doing this, this is the top part of my page and this is the bottom. I am going to actually put my ruler down where there's about a, roughly about a quarter of the page. So just a smaller band at the top. And then I'm gonna go, oh, okay, so this looks about the center. This is going to be um, the horizon line point. And then you're gonna take that point and you're gonna draw a mark down with your ruler at an angle, like a triangle. So from that point, draw down. From here, you can spread out your lines um, because you're going to end up making a field. So I'm gonna go one line here. Always going to um, that same point. Um, you can draw some mountains in the background or um, just a sun. Um, and at this point, you can draw whatever you want to for your field. So I would say, like, I'm just going to do some patterns um, for my field. So these are my zigzag. Ideally, your lines would get wider and further apart as you go to the bottom of your page or the space closest to you. That is one way to have a simple perspective, one point perspective drawing. Another way that you can do a simple one point perspective drawing whoa, is to have your your paper and it be vertical and you're going to actually draw a line across roughly the center of the page. So I am going to use my ruler. And, okay. and 
roughly-ish. Um, at this point, I'm gonna do the vanishing point, which is right here on the horizon line. And I'm going to draw a triangle. actually going to draw a really skinny triangle in the center, in the middle of this triangle. So I'm going to go to the van use the vanishing point. Oops. Down. And the vanishing point. I'm peeking. is I'm going to draw some mountains. So I'm going to go up. And then you can do little snow-covered mountains. And then I'm going to draw one mountain there. And I think I want to overlap. some clouds. The smaller the clouds you have, the further away it's going to look. Okay, and if you want to add something else, like if you want to add some trees, what's going to happen is your trees are actually going to go bigger to smaller. So I think to keep things simple, I'm just going to do triangles for trees. Triangle here, here, and as I go, I'm going to make my triangles much smaller. Maybe not that tiny. And then I'm going to do it on the other side. This is going to be my biggest triangle. Smaller still, smaller, and the smallest. So that is another way to do a simple one-point perspective. Mm -hmm.